Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 3rd to September 9th, 2018. So while I'm shuffling guys, again if you are interested in a personal reading, uh, everything that you need to know is written down below in the description of the video which is uh, my website literally and at my website you can either contact me through the contact form and also you can uh, you know see the full list of the services that I'm providing and their pricings as well so that being said going to the uh, tarot spread first the first position here that will be the topic of your week Gemini's then is the core of the situation followed by the um, difficulties that you have to face you know that is something negative that you need to overcome here in in the week in the duration of the week and then we do have uh, the last card which is the guidance that is advisable for you to follow so let's see what topics you do have now the ten of pentacles that is very good uh, ten of pentacles it is about capitalizing upon what you have worked um, for a quite a long time or a recently that could be a capitalizing upon a project something that you have building up until until right now that could be building up a relationship building up a career as well you know it finally reaches a certain um, peak of experience should they say or a peak point as well and usually after we do have the ten of pentacles then a, a new beginning follows up which is which is uh, founded on your uh, on your current undertakings and that usually speaks for investments either that is going to be an investing your time into a new project or investing your money into a certain company as well you know uh, it could be into the <clears throat> cryptocurrency as well you know these days people are um, kind of like um, mad about it you know um, every second every second person I know is investing into cryptocurrency I'm not encouraging you to do so you know you do what you think is best just giving you an examples here guys um, ten of uh, pentacles it is a very kind of like um, stable card in the sense of that this week you Gemini it is unlikely to experience any downs if uh, we talk about ups and downs and it is likely that you will be able to how can I place it to build up trust into people uh, especially career orientated and not just you will be able to build trust but maybe someone who betrayed your trust uh, trust from the past will rebuild it back now this is a very strong key meaning as well for the ten of pentacles but what that card points here is that you have to enjoy the fruit of the fruits of your labor just as the old man worked all of his life and now he's enjoying sitting in the garden with his family you know grandchildren probably his daughter or his uh, his son etc etc and it is grateful for the abundance that one has so in that particular sense the ten of pentacles also points that it is likely that you will have a, a very good blessings to indulge with in this particular week september 3rd to september 9th <clears throat> gemini's um the core of the situation here that will be the strength card so pretty much this card here points that you did not surrender so we can see that whatever you have worked it or worked on until right now and even you are going to continue on working upon it uh, before but this week you are going to reach a certain foundation of it you did not surrender no matter how difficult the job was uh, as a matter of fact this card points that people were not exactly against you but they mo mostly they were trying to talk you out of it in a certain sense or they did not believe in you that you will be able to pull it through now the the strength card in this particular follow-up it means that you did it against all odds so kind of like you gemini's deserve you know to um how can I say it? To capitalize on the benefits that this undertakings will give you, either relationship-wise or either career-wise. Well, we do have the strength card. However, it depends your what your personal situation is, because uh, we cannot really define here. Is the woman trying to open 
the mouth of the lion or is the woman is trying to close the mouth the mount of the lion so in your case in uh, in case the woman into your situation is trying to open the mouth of the lion it means that you will kind of jump uh, vigorous into all the undertakings presented to you and this will give the foundation here of capitalizing upon that long-term goal that you have worked thus far if the woman is trying to close the mouth of the lion then it means that you will persevere through patience and through uh, singularity and under singularity, I mean that no matter what opinions of the others involved into that situation is, uh, you will not feel yourself obliged to explain your approach, to explain your thoughts, nor your plans. And as I said, against all odds, you will make the foundations you need in order to further your investments toward a, a lucrative end here. Now, the... Uh, Challenges is the Empress card. When it comes to challenges, the Empress card points to hectic, uh, hectic wavering. So somehow you will not be able to find yourself very comfortable with, uh, with the whole situation, no matter that this is going to be a foundation. Because the Ten of uh, Pentacles does not say that everything is going to be settled through, all right? So there could be still predicaments remaining, even though you are, uh, you are at the final line of the, uh, you are at the finish line, excuse me. And that may not put you into rest here, that may not give you a rest, and um, you may become rather frantic, uh, frantic. you may become rather with uh, hectic, with hectic, hectic, hectic wavering regarding the undertaking as well being unable to decide so it's very important here to calm yourself down which is going to be much easier for those who are trying to close the mount of the lion as i said they are going to persevere through patience and uh, when we talk about the empress into a negative position it um how can i place it it kind of speaks for uh, not exactly ig ignorance guys but more like overindulgence so uh, in that particular sense maybe you are trying to uh, secure yourself more than the security possibly can be just to give you an example you're running a project and you want you know everything to be a hundred percent secure so whatever move you do there is no risk involved whatsoever well probably the this perpetual mobile is so called it's it's impossible these days so there is always a risk but how much you can kind of diminish the risk to a, a very minimum that depends upon your performance here with the strength card regarding regarding you know mm, which differs uh, what the woman is trying to do into your situation. Are you vigorous or are you patient? Those who are vigorous and they are, uh, and they are jumping into the undertaking are likely to uh, take a, a bigger risks. But in these cases, the bigger risks gives greater rewards. So it, again, it will depend on your personal situation here. But at the very least, even if things aren't working out at the start of the week for you, or you have done some actions here and they haven't worked out very well for you, at least at the, uh, at the very start or, or the very initiation, don't worry about it. Just remain your... Um, maintain your calmness you know be resigned about it and things should be settled uh settled straight and they will be set back on track here with the ten of pentacles as i said at the end you should here really enjoy the fruits of your labor and at the end we do have the uh, guidance that will be the nine uh, the night of wands and in your particular case here this is about thinking what follows next so um <clears throat> what happens in this week is that you work upon what whatever you are trying to do you know whatever undertaking you're trying to push through which is a long-term one but in the same time probably you will you will start uh, seeing that um 
you have more and more free time for yourself, not just for yourself, you know, but just to start a, a new undertakings like hobby wise. So this card as the uh, Knight of Wands asks you to, in your free time, if you do have gaps there to try to uh, fulfill, uh, fill them up with um, a new enterprises brand new enterprises something that you can experiment with so that experimentation here kind of lift up this sense of interest for the world and for the uh, either your work or your relationship as well <clears throat> The Knight of so the Knight of Wands. It's a it's a card which has no staying power. The Knight of Wands likes to experience the world in every single form. Therefore, you should not be um, you should not be afraid to try something crazy. This is what I'm trying to say. Which kind of like. Uh, um, Keep your mind occupied away from the um, hectic, hectic wavering here and the, the, the thoughts for a, a frantic approach toward your situations. So that was the tarot reading. Let's now see about uh, Delenormand. What Delenormand has to say for you, Geminis. So the first card here we do have the fish. So that is definitely about money. Fish is money growth. These two keywords. Uh, we do have a male uh, or that card also could stay for maturity. Let me see the next one through business. So yeah, this is a money made uh, with maturity through business. Because the tower card either stays for a... Um, government institution <clears throat> or business in that particular case because the man here resembles you i believe or it could be true man that could be as well you know um, a very rich person here is offering you business as well it depends what kind of a situation you are in that's why the lenormands are very very personal cards because you know, they, they refer to a, a event that you are about to experience. If you are a woman, then this is going to be a, a rich person offering you business here uh, or something that you can make money off, <clears throat> you know. Or if you are a male, that is not excluded as well. But if you are a male, that card could resemble you, which means that you are going to make money through business. So pretty much um, that was... Um, <clears throat> the Tarot and Lenormand reading here in uh, for September 3rd to September 9, 2018 for you, Geminis, Sun, Moon and Ascendant. And uh, again, in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything that you need to know is written down below in the description of this video, which is my website. And in there you can find the services and their pricings as well. So, uh, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.